I'm so, so excited to present to the workroom channel behind the scenes with Susan Woodcock. This is her workroom and she's going to give us the quick tour. Thank you, Janelle. Great I'm so you. excited to show my workroom. Even though it's a small space, there's not a lot to share, but it's perfect for me, for Roger and me and what we're doing um, with the conferences and um, I still have client work, as you can see, all over my work table. So, uh, right off the bat, how did you find this place? I know you've only been here since October. Yeah. Right? So we um, were looking for a small house that had uh, a nice view. We're out in the mountains, and we Great have an absolutely beautiful place to live. But a lot of the houses we looked at had um, a lot of work that needed to be done, <laughs> or the workrooms were really inconvenient, like upstairs and up another set of stairs, or unfinished basements. And um, when we walked in this house, it had just been completely remodeled. And as you can see, I mean, you know, uh, right. I, we walked down here and I said, this is it. This is my workroom. I didn't even care what the rest of the house looked like. Mm -hmm. I could move right in and get to work. And it's been fantastic. And I love working from home. Yeah, it's, it's a great space. It's a great space. Okay, so show us around. All right. So this is the main area of the workroom. The work table, of course, um, which you have to have. It's the best piece of equipment in your workroom. And make it as big as possible. This is a 48 inch wide table in my previous house. I had a very limited space. So um, I had to have a smaller table. And this table has two extensions on it. So I can drop the extensions and it can be a six foot by four foot table. So um, at the other house where we were filming videos, I could spin it around and move it and put it in places that work best for filming. But here I pretty much leave it up as a 10-foot table all of the time. Well for a um, video with the lights on and all the lighting you need, a canvas is too bright and it really reads hot as they say. So I like having a darker color. Um, so I have a removable Velcro canvas and the whole thing can come off. And then I have a darker color um, duck, cotton duck fabric. I also have some um, vinyl covers that I have that I can put on here so I can do art projects and other things and not mess up my canvas. This is the main work area. I do like the space to be able to walk all the way around the table and it is on casters so I can roll it around. We have a lining rack here that Roger built with closet brackets. And he did put up some 1x4s on the wall to give more stability for screwing the brackets in because the linings are really heavy. I have um, cotton sateen interlining and bump interlining. The bump interlining right now is acting as my fabric rack <laughs> because I have drapery panels that are cut and hemmed and ready to be put together. And it's chintz fabric and I don't want it to get a crease line. So they're just laying over the bump interlining right now. And then we'll walk over and look at the sewing machine area. This is my favorite sewing machine. It's a Brother 7200 series direct drive. I've owned it about uh, seven or eight years. And um, I bought it new. And I looked at a lot of sewing machines. Um, I don't buy a lot of equipment. And when I do, I think about it a really long time. And then I know I'm going to be really happy with it and the investment. So this machine has paid for itself over and over. Um, I do like that it has automatic thread cut and automatic back stitch, and you can really control the speed. So when you're doing delicate things or you need to go slow, um, you can really do that with your foot. So it's a really great machine. I highly recommend it for a drapery workroom. I have a stand here that I'll um, just move this fabric out of the way. This originally was a saddle stand that Roger had. Um, this table on top was actually tented up to put a saddle on. So I saw it and we don't have horses and saddles and he doesn't have saddles anymore so I thought hmm I could probably use that for something in the workroom. So he took the top off and flattened it out so now I have a nice little table that's right by the sewing machine and put some dowels and holes in the sides and I can put um, cord and um, Velcro or sh sharing tapes or buckram, all the rolled goods that I need right at the sewing machine. And this tabletop's really nice. I can clamp things to it. I can clamp um, the button press on here. 
So it's just been a fantastic, um, and it's cute. You know, it has stenciling and a little bin at the bottom that I can put stuff in. This is my serger, and um, you might be wondering why I don't have an industrial serger, like a lot of workrooms. I don't do a lot of upholstery and slip covers, and I found that this serger has served me really well. I've probably had it at least 10 years, never had a problem with it. It's a Husky Lock Viking um, serger. It's a more heavy duty model for a domestic serger. And I usually keep it threaded up for three threads. And I use it for um, things like uh, finishing pillows on the inside and um, trimming off the tops of dust ruffles, skirts, and things like that. So it's um, not uh, used in a heavy duty use like I would be if I had an upholstery workroom. And I have some suitcases lined up here on the wall underneath of the lining bolts. And I'm not getting ready for a big trip. Uh, those are samples. Um, one of the things about teaching is you end up with all these samples. And over the years, I've sold samples or um, given them away for charity. And I probably need to do that again. I'm really getting full of samples. And um, they're all packed up in suitcases and also on shelving that's um, on the other side of the workroom in the garage. So now we'll look at the walking foot machine. This is fairly new to me, but it um, is a used sewing machine. I bought it from my friend Jackie Geronica when she closed her workroom and sort of semi-retired. And that's why it's named Jackie instead of Juki. And uh, this is a great workhorse. Um, it's um, a 1541S, if you're curious. Um, I've used it um, today. I was sewing something and the fabric was riding up and um, I needed the fabric to compensate so I came over to the walking foot and it just sewed perfectly. So this is a super heavy duty machine. Um, I'm getting used to working with a walking foot. Uh, the first project I did on it I had um, a tapestry pillow that was about 45 inches long with fringe, with velvet, and it was the best thing I ever had just for that one project. So um, I'm really enjoying having the walking foot machine. I just received these draperies um, were shipped to me from a client out of state. And I made these draperies at least 15 years ago. Um, in fact, I don't have the measurements anymore. She asked me if I still had her window measurements, and I don't. This is a beautiful linen fabric called Althea linen, and I think it's Brunswick and Fee. It's still um, printed, so we can remake uh, pillows and things for her room. But what she's going to do is update the look. So these draperies were installed with big, chunky wood hardware, and the designer is um, switching it out to French pole rods and rings. And we're going to make new pillows, and we're going to take off the plaid um, fabric that's on the leading edge and also in the top of the pleats and also on the side hem. So all of that will be replaced with a new fabric. I don't know what that fabric is going to be yet, um, but it'll be easy to take it all apart because everything is hand sewn. All the linings and inner linings are fine and this is really a testament to the quality of custom window treatments. They last years and years and years and when you invest in expensive fabric like this, um, it's a good thing to be able to um, just sort of update it and keep the fabric. She still loves the fabric, and I do too. It's going to be a fun project, actually, to sort of get in there and um, remake my own stuff again. So this is the office area. There's a door that comes in from the garage. So one thing I really love about this space is that we can walk things in from the garage. So when we bring something in the van, um, whether it's hardware or lumber or to take stuff out to the van, it's all one level. So you come in the back door. The Roman shades um, I had in my other house, and they're exactly the same size as they were in my other house. We just brought them in and put them up. I couldn't believe it. Um, these I made for a um, webinar presentation on how to make blackout Roman shades without pinholes of light. So these are um, spring roller blackout shades and um, they work great to block the sun and no pinholes of light. Just the usual office stuff, um, simple filing, simple um, printing, computer, I do a lot of writing so I spend a lot of time here um, working on pictures and editing and writing. 
And then the shelves have some office things in, on them, um, some personal mementos. Uh, you'll see some cross stitches around the room, and some of them are kind of funny, um, and some of them are personal. They were done by um, my Aunt Elsie, who has passed away, and um, it's special for me to have some things that she did for me. And this is my grandmother, my maternal grandmother, my mother's mother. Um, and she taught my mother to sew and my mother taught me to sew. So I like having that here because um, it reminds me of that. I also have an old shuttle here and this is from the Woodcock family. I'm not really sure who it belonged to. There was um, an, one of my ancestors that was a spinster aunt um, way back in probably the early 1800s who did have a loom in her will. So it might have been hers we're not sure but I'm taking a weaving class now so this is really special I can't really use it but I like to hold it and look at it and the draperies also came from the other house um, they were on a window and they fit the store perfectly except I had to hem them and um, it really helps to keep the cold air out for the winter time when we were here when it was really cold outside so I can close up the room shades and close up the curtains and stay nice and snug and warm down here while I'm working I'd like to share a little bit with you about my book that's coming out soon. I've been working on this for over a year. Um, I was contacted by the publisher because of my work with Craftsy and a lot of the writing and things that I have on my website. And the acquisitions editor had a workroom and she wrote the last book in this series of books. So she was great to work with, understood all the terminology and what should be included to update um, the topic. So this is my master notebook. The book started with an outline and then um, I had to find places to shoot photography. I did all of the writing, all of the drawings, and it was all done in my workroom. Um, and that was in my last house. I didn't get to do any of it here. But an example um, would be this book is divided between draperies, top treatments, and shades. And um, here's the sketch that was done for what ended up on the cover of the book. And the fabrics were chosen based on color stories. So the um, drapery section was reds and greens. Um, no, I'm sorry, yellows and greens. And the top treatments were red and all the shades are sort of in the blue family. We had a lot of fun working on this, a lot of stress at times when um, submission deadlines hit, and we moved in the process of um, working on the book as well. It should be um, printed and ready to purchase by September of 2016. I'm really excited to get a printed copy. And everybody in their workroom needs an office manager, and my office manager is down here on the floor, and her name is Alice. So Alice is a Jack Russell Terrier. Uh, she's a very good dog, and um, we just love her to death. So I hope she sticks around and manages the business for many, many more years. That's a good girl. Say bye. And I couldn't operate the workroom and produce the conferences and other events without the help of my husband, Roger Walker. Hi, everybody. Our next conference will be in Nashville, May of 2017, and we hope to see you there. Thanks for visiting. Bye. Bye-bye.